Um, we're going to be covering the UBIC UIP. I believe it's a UIP. That's what they're calling it, UBIC Improvement Plan. Looks like number one, it's the hard fork um, that we're going to be talking about. I'll bring up the page and how to get to it so you guys can read about it, of when it's going to happen, what block number it's going to go against, and then kind of what changes. We'll go through that quickly. Downloading the test net, getting it to run on the rig, make sure everything's good to go. Then you know it's working and you're ready. So whenever the hard fork comes, you can jump on. And why that matters is because anytime you have a hard fork that's happening, especially with the cur uh, currency, uh, making an algorithm change on proof of work, you have this essential time period where all the nodes get updated, but all the miners have to update their mining software. This is essentially what we're doing tonight. What happens usually is you have a dip in total difficulty because you you essentially have everybody running on the current algorithm with the current software running Claymore, and then you're going to have a dip at that time of that fork, and you're going to flip those rigs around, right? So you want to make sure there's going to be a whole bunch of people ready to take that that first initial dip. Essentially, if you get on there early, you might be able to get a few more Ubik than normal because you're going to have a dip in difficulty. We've seen that with XMR. Now, we know a lot of that was probably predicated on the fact that there was ASICs on the system. Um, and essentially, with Ubik doing this, all the ASICs that are mining it right now are going to be forked off of it. So you're going to have the natural attrition from not having ASICs moving over to this algorithm coupled with the fact that it's going to take some folks to slow roll um, mining Ubik with you know the new software. So switch over real quick to the computer video, Ubik hard fork um, for Ubik smart here. And this is essentially the hard fork. This introduces it. So this Ubik hash is a new algorithm. So I want to make sure everybody understands that this is not Equihash. It's moving over to or Etash. It is moving to Ubik hash. Um, the hard fork is talking here. What's essentially, it's going to take place at during one of the DAG epoch switches, which about uh, approximately every 30.5 days, or 660,000, um, which is effectively epoch 22. The ETH miner. So this release here. Now we're going to go here, and this is not where your test piece is. This is essentially where the release for go time, the day that this switches, this is how you're going to mine it. You're going to download the Ubik miner here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go up a thread here. So we come right up here. We're going to go to the root of this and we're going to look for the testnet version. So this guy right here is the testnet version. So this is before the fork. And if you click this little release guy here, this is going to take you to the, the releases clicked one of these. Now, what you're going to probably have if you're running Windows and depending on what version of Windows you have, if you have like version 18.03, you're probably going to get a little here. Let's do it with, with 9.2 and see if it pops up for me. So on this rig, I have an exception set up for the Windows firewall and Windows antivirus um, to accept inbound and the Chrome settings I have set on this are not stopping this download. If you get the little red box here, you can on your mining rig hit control J, which will take you down to the download screen here. And then you can accept the, uh, the file if you're trying to download it and it's stopping you. That will allow you to get in there and then you can open up in the folder and then you can uh, right click and unzip it, extract it and it will pre not prevent it from being able to be downloaded. Uh, when you come into here, you'll have essentially a start bat file, the testnet miner, and then um, we'll get into that. Let's, let's do a quick benchmark before we start mining right now with the testnet. Um, so I believe five, number five is Ubik on here right now. So let's do a benchmark real quick on this machine and this using Claymore right now, 11.6. So this doesn't even have 11.9. Um, and let's just see what these machine does. So this is seven card RX 580 are about 30.1 mega hash for RX 580s. So that's about as, that's about as good as it gets on the RX 580 cards. Let's go back over to here. So if we right click on this start bat, we can take a look at the bat. Now you, the first time you open this up, you may get a windows protected thing. You can hit more info and run anyway, anyway. And this is going to bring you into the the testnet default setup. Now these little uh, 
hashtags here stop these command lines from running. Essentially, they're just kind of like uh, comments. So you're commenting out if you have something in front of it. So this first one, which is AMD pool, is running the miner. It's doing a farm check. You don't, it doesn't matter what address if you're running the test net. Just, I would leave that the same because what you're trying to do is figure out if, if your machine out of the box will run the software or not, um, or if you need to do any configuration. So let's just run this and see out of the box. Now it did work out of the box for me for the NVIDIA. That's going to fail. And it did. It failed because it is grabbing the built-in GPU. Do the platform zero or one. There we go. It's platform one. There you go. There it's going through and updating the bins and starting its business. So now we're seeing uh, a, a little degrade, but not too much. So we're getting 28.3 out of these cards right here. So a little, not as efficient, but pretty close to the efficiency with um, Claymore. Claymore, it looks like it's a little more efficient than this ETH miner. By and large right now, that's essentially it. So that shows you kind of what to expect, at least from an AMD platform, that if you're a little bit lower um, on the hash rate that's looking like it is going to be a thing until a few more optimized miners come out. Again, this isn't bad. I mean, I'm not going to complain at all that on a new algorithm tweak that it isn't um, taking a huge hit on the hardware. What are we doing? We're gonna we're we're gonna we're gonna we're going to raid you for you can do marbles. And we're going to get whoever the winner of the marbles race is, we'll get this cup. The first marbles race? The first marbles race. Okay. All right. So in a minute and a half, it's going to start. Hurry. <laughs> <laughs> the Pepto-Bismol race. Back off, Cyber. <laughs> <laughs> Sean Hill, look, you're not last. Steve. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh oh, NC guy. Nice guy. Oh, oh, is it going? Nope, Steve's not letting him out. Oh, oh. oh he's missed it. Oh, Kelvin. Rip. Kelvin Vaughn. Oh, EQ Pike. EQ Pike. Snuck in. He won it at the end. Oh, Magic second. <laughs>